Hi everyone, it's Mike from It's My Like, and first off, I want to thank all the people who have ordered coupons. I think word is getting around on the internet about coupons and what they do because I've been quite busy recently filling orders, which is great. Um, but I've also been getting a lot of emails from people wondering if they'll be able to use coupons given that their glasses have wide temple tips. And perhaps you're in a similar situation and you like the idea of coupons, you want to try them out to stop your uh, glasses from slipping, but you're not sure whether you're able, you'll be able to put the coupons over your wide temple tips. Well, this video is for you because I'm going to show you how to put even the most narrow aperture coupons. For example, the here we are, the, um, I don't know if you can see that well, the most narrow aperture coupons. This is the Keepons Original Clear um, on even the widest temple tips. Now first, when I speak of temple tips, I mean the part that goes over your, here we go, uh, the part that goes over your ears. So this, this part, this is what uh, is meant by temple tips. And for this demonstration, I'll be using, as I said, the Keepons Original Clear, which has one of the most narrow apertures. And by aperture, I mean the hollow tunnel running through it, because in order to use the Keepons, you have to thread the, uh, the temple tips through the hollow tunnel. And you might be worried that uh, you won't be able to do this, because, as we said, you might be worried that your glasses have wide temple tips. Okay. So... Uh, and I'm, I'm here to show you how to get around this problem. So let's go ahead and measure the width of the keep-ons. Okay. So the aperture itself, I don't know if you can see this clearly. I'm going to try to get a good... Okay. You'll notice is about five millimeters. Maybe four and a half millimeters. So given that this has been engineered from um, high-grade silicone, uh, at about 5 millimeters you can expect to stretch them about 50%, so uh, 7 to 8 millimeters. So if your temple tips are 7 to 8 millimeters, you're good to go. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the original clear even if your temple tips are uh, much wider than that. For example, 1 centimeter or 10 millimeters or even wider. <laughs> I think you'll like this. This will be good. So I've assembled three styles of glasses ranging from the least widest temple tips to the most wide temple tips. And um, as you'll notice, this this first one, it's it's not that wide. And if you take a look, I'm going to measure it for you. You know, it's it's about four. So as you would expect, you know, it, it should work. This one in the middle, the temple tips. I don't know if you can see this on the video. We're looking at about seven. It'd have to clear about seven millimeters. Okay. And finally, so with this middle one, it should work. Okay. Now, here we go. Uh, this one is about 10 millimeters, one centimeter. So you'd expect this one not to work. Okay, let's try this one by one. So as expected, no problem. The temple tips are um, Let's less wider than the keepons aperture or the tunnel, so no problem there. Okay, so this one in theory it should work with a little bit of effort. And yes, I'm I'm using a little bit of effort here, and as you can see no problem. We can continue to uh, twirl that in there and it will work. And I think for most people, 
most people's glasses, this is where you fall into this middle range. But in some cases, uh, there are styles where you're looking at um, very wide temple tips. In, in which case, you know, it might be for sunglasses or some other metal frame uh, glasses or even plastic glasses uh, where the temple tips are wide compared to the aperture. And if you try using the normal method, as you can see here, I, I can I can try to squeeze it in, but it just, it won't go. I mean, no, it, it's, it's too wide. So what do we do? Easy. You separate the temple tips from the temple. thread it through the other end of the temple tips not the wide end but the narrow end reattach and you're good to go so um, you know you've managed to fit a, a narrow tunnel keep-ons. This is the keep-ons original clear onto wide temple tips and now you can stop uh, eyeglass slipping. Now next time I'm going to show you how to overcome wide temple tips um, if your glasses are such that you can't remove the, um, the temple tips. For example, so here's another style where the temple tips, this part, is wide but you don't have the means by which you can separate it from the the main temple arm what do you do then i'll show you in the next video and um, once again thanks for watching and have yourself a great day have some pizza a cold beverage laugh often and see you next time